Okay, in the last video we talked about the binomial expansion of x plus a to the n. And we explained how this is what you get, where the coefficients 1, this, 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 and that 1 create a line in Pascal's triangle. Now I want to look at factoring the difference of powers, x to the n minus a to the n in particular. It always gives you the simple factor x minus a times x to the 1 less n minus 1 plus a certain number of terms which are 2 less x's with 1a and so on all the way down to 1x and a to the n minus 2 followed by a to the n minus 1. These coefficients will give us another triangle. But before we look at that, I just want to go back and mention that you'll notice I put a 1 here when I had 1a, and I put a 1 here when I had 1x. Of course, you don't have to put a 1 there. If you want to put a 1 there, put a 1 there, see if I care. Now you see it, now you don't. If you want to put a 1 there, put a 1 there, see if I care. Now you see it, now you don't. But if I put it, then I can talk about the sums of the exponents. For example, that adds up to n. These ones add up to n, these ones add up to n, this is n, this is n, so here an n, there an n, everywhere an n, n. If I do it for this type of calculation, then it adds up to 1 less than n. n minus 1, n minus 1. So what are those coefficients? Well, this is what's going to give us what I call Hush's triangle, as opposed to Pascal's triangle. And those coefficients are 1, 1, 1. So far, it's the same. Then it goes 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Very famous triangle, easy to remember, a lot easier than Pascal's triangle. You guessed it, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. How do you like that? Hush's triangle. Check it for a few more lines, see if it works. So for homework, I want you to multiply this out. You can pick a particular number for n and see what it gives you. So let me just do a couple. Let's say you have x3 minus a to the 3. That's going to equal x minus a times x squared plus <coughs> xa plus a squared. Or if you have one that's a little bit harder, let's say you have x to the 4 minus a to the 4. It's still going to be x minus a. But then it's going to be x cubed plus x squared a plus x a squared plus a cubed. Just for fun, multiply those out. Make sure you do get the left-hand sides. All right, Pascal's triangle has all sorts of other patterns. Maybe we'll talk about those some other time. Take care. See you next time.